Yo, what's good kings and queens? It's your boy Dawn and I'm back for another reaction video today. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you know every time I post you her. If you're not new to the channel, please hit that like button down below so y'all know, you know, y'all also do know that y'all can also put y'all socials down below so I can go ahead and pin y'all you her. Today, y'all, we're going to be reacting to the top eight weirdest competitions from the around the world. I don't know what to expect, man, because what was the video I did? I did something like talking about uh, the weirdest sports in the world, and it was some crazy stuff, you are. I'm not going to lie. If y'all haven't seen that video, I'm going to put it up here so y'all can go check it out. Other than that, let's see what the weirdest competitions are. If y'all think y'all know, please let me know in the comments, you heard. Other than that, let's get into the video, Ju. Since the dawn of man, we have had the urge to compete. Mm. And to this day, we love to watch people compete against each other, whether Home. it's the Olympics, the World Cup, saying. or the Super Bowl. However, our competitive nature that was a big play for the Super Bowl, the you are. sports on the biggest stages. And many competitions exist that can only be described as completely bizarre. Okay. Today we're showing you eight of the craziest competitions in the world. Oh, all right. so for all this and that's more, not crazy. Stay tuned right here at Wonderland. Would you describe yourself as competitive? Did you used to cry when you lost at Wii Bowling when you were a kid? No. Me either. I, what? <laughs> Let's start at number eight with one of the most bizarre contests in this entire list. The worm grunt contest. Okay. Worm grunting is the technique of luring worms to the surface of the earth by vibrating them out of the ground. Okay. In the worm grunting competition in Wilston, United Kingdom, each participant is given their own nine square meter field in a large meadow, and they have to bring as many worms as possible up to the surface of the earth. Everyone uses their own technique here. Some hop in place, others play musical instruments, okay. and then shovel on the ground to create vibrations. Last year, the winners made it to first place with only 11 worms. Wow. Yo, please hit that like button down below so we don't get any more intermissions. Please also hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, you are. If y'all enjoying this so far, this worm game, if y'all will play it, let me know in the comments. I probably would. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's an easy game. Like 11? Come on now. We could get mad more worms than that, you are. Other than that, let's see what they talk about. Worms reach the surface in 30 minutes without digging is over 500. At number seven, oh, never we've got mind. The extreme ironing. The person Cup. that won was over 11. 500. At number seven, we've got, he got the 500 Extreme Ironing Jones. World Cup. This is exactly what it sounds like. Okay. It's competitive ironing. Where? Like ironing clothes, but it's extreme, right? So the ironing is not done in the laundry room. Participants have to iron in some very unusual places. At the Extreme Ironing World Championship, there are different categories in which the ironers compete. For example, in the Rocky Style category, ironing is to be done on a mountain or on a rock. You can either iron on the top of the mountain or you can even set up your ironing board on a wall. Look at that extension In the category board. Forest Style, the contestants iron on branches and in treetops. Water style, they iron both on the surface of the water and underwater. How? The newest category of the competition is Air Style where participants board small planes with motorized parachutes or the combination of base jumping and iron. Ah, that's fine. You be wondering who would want to take part in such a competition. Maybe overly aggressive moms with nothing to lose. I'm weak. I think people are just really bored, man. For and real, though. feel alive. Right. Plus, it's productive, I guess. <laughs> Let's move on to number six. That's the a fact, that though. brings the pain. The Death Diving World Championship. When jumping off the diving board, one normally avoids the dreaded belly, back, or butt flop. Right. But in Oslo, Norway, there is a competition dedicated to these very fine art forms. Oh, I know you'll be hurting. It's not about grace, and it's not about limiting your splash or any kind of technique. <sighs> it is all about the clap <sighs> of the stomach on the water. Before jumping, participants usually take a running start, and they toss their helpless bodies into the water. Ah, I know that hurt. The pros, however, utilize a very specific trick. What the freak? They fall belly down, but just before they hit the surface, they put their arms together and form a kind of ball to diffuse the impact. Okay. How the idea for the Extreme Jumping World Championship came about was explained by the Norwegian world champion, Trolls Torp. It's just a typical Norwegian thing. <laughs> We're just absolutely crazy. Pretty much. At number five, we've got a competition that's a bit of a head scratcher, to be honest. I don't know what's going on here. Every year, people from all over the world gather
together at Coppers Hill in Gloucester, United Kingdom for the Coppers Hill Rolling Race. Everyone so gets on a four kilogram slice of the very popular Gloucester cheese and they throw it down the hill. Okay. Then they all throw themselves down the hill after the cheese. Whoever gets the first wins. It can get pretty wild. The goal is to be the first to reach the bottom of the very steep hill. Whoever manages to do this gets to keep the cheese. <laughs> all I'm saying is that this cheese I must wait. be unreal. Nah, that's People what I'm saying. are throwing themselves off a cliff for this grassy, dirty cheese. <laughs> Let's stay in England for number four. I'm weak. In Marchwood, one of the wildest eating contests in the world takes place every year. A nettle eating contest. Who? Each participant gets a big bundle of nettle bushes. Oh, he said metal. And they have to eat as many leaves as possible. The drink, the participants get a glass of beer, which helps to get rid of the foul taste that the leaves produce. Right. The nettle leaves are said to taste like spinach and are a rich source of vitamins. Okay, but spinach is good. problem in that the nettle leaves are poisonous. They've been known to cause swelling the lips as well as black Why? consumed raw. So the participants utilize some strategy here. They fold the leaves before they put them in their mouths so the prickly hairs on the surface don't stop not come into contact with their tongues. Smart. This is just another example of English people acting up. I don't know why they're being like this. Right. They also have a shin kicking contest. No. Contest that involves weird faces and hoops. And a pudding <laughs> throwing contest, but it's British pudding, so it's more like a like a thick dough dish. Someone go find English people a hobby or something. Give them something okay. to do. Okay. They can't. They, they That's can't cool though. This. Number three features the shin thing is OD. competition held regularly in Castrillo de Murcia, Spain. It's part of the El Calacho celebration, an old festival that's been held in the Spanish town for over 400 years. What was it's that? All about the Calacho, or the devil, who's represented at the festival by a selected man in disguise. Is that a whip? He runs after people with a whip and a stick, and the highlight of the event is the so-called baby jumping. To become the Calacho and have the privilege of running through the city in a devil costume, you have to show that you are the best long jumper in town. Because for baby jumping, you actually have to jump over real babies. Right. Newborns between 0 and 12 months of age are placed on a mattress in the middle of the street, and the Calacho jumps over them. They the more babies he's able to clear, the better. I definitely have a lot of questions about this one. Like, huh. why babies? <laughs> and who would volunteer their child for this? Them, I obviously. VHR on the entire country of Spain. Number two, we're heading to Mother Russia. In Krasnoyarsk, Siberia, nice. the so-called slap contest takes place every year. Two men face each other and slap each other in the face as hard as they can. The you first man to fall over or voluntarily leave the podium loses. Obviously. Some athletes, such as the this Siberian Vasily Kamatsky, have seen their opponents go down after one slap. Yes. If you look at the muscle definition man, in the arms of some beast, of these dudes, yeah becomes very clear that anyone who decides to do this too. is signing up for a concussion from Vlad here. YouTuber Logan Paul recently expressed interest in the competition, but when he saw his competitor, he explained that he no longer wanted to compete because Add he was all. afraid of serious injuries. Right. The prize money ain't <laughs> worth the pain either. At all. He only gets like 500 bucks. Only men are allowed to take part in the competition, but recently there's also been a backpipe contest for women only. What? The Russian Yashikin Cup involves... Two women slapping each other on the ass. What? Glorious. Yo, if y'all want me to react to the oh, slapping contest, let me know down in the cut. comments. No. I'm I'm weak. The, police. the aim is to make the opponent fall over or take at least one step forward. Compared to the men's competition, however, the women's competition is relatively harmless. So far, there have been no knockout opponents, no major injuries, and most of the participants just bust out a sly little grin upon being spanked publicly. Right. <laughs> Last but not least, number one, the wife carrying competition. This one's pretty much self-explanatory. Okay. The goal is to carry your own wife as far as Be possible. Gone. My boy is gone. Men take their wives on their backs upside down. Right. His wife is dumb. This is more efficient for some reason. On the way to the finish line, there are various obstacles like yeah. cars, mud puddles, and wooden planks. Get to Even it. Even though the men do most of the work here, the women also have to endure a lot, often being dumped headfirst into the mud when their husbands slip. Some women have turned the tables and carried their men. The first prize is your spouse's weight in beer. Wow. So that's going to do it for our video. Yo, if y'all want me to react to that one as well, please let me know down in the comments, you heard.
If y'all enjoyed this video and y'all want me to y'all want me to react to any of these eight weird competitions, I got y'all. Let me know. Anything else y'all want me to react to, please let me know as well. Follow on my social media. Everything is up there, you heard. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and hit all so you know every time I post. Twice a day, y'all. Very simple, easy. Whatever y'all want me to react to, I got y'all, you heard. Other than that, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. If y'all didn't see my last one, go check it out. It's epic, you heard. Peace. Love. Done.